and responsible for it all now more than ever uh, because not only did he write it, he also directed it, but also produced the film. Welcome back, Alonso Ruiz Palacios. <laughs> So I would like to start um, with a question for uh, Alonso. Um, also, um, maybe the rest of you can jump in if you would like to, because uh, you have all seen the films. I mean, the film, and uh, it's actually very hard to imagine how you actually shot in that kitchen. What did it take to make that kitchen, to make that very long shot? and get everyone to do what you wanted them to do. <laughs> how, do you, how did you do that? Uh, so we shot, we shot the... I had this dream of, of making this movie in Mexico, even though it's set in New York, which was a, a, a strange thing, but I, want, I, I knew we would be able to rehearse more and to have more control and stuff, so we, we, um, we built the kitchen in a soundstage in Mexico, and, um, and then it took us that... that, that sequence was like a week, week and a half, or something like that. Uh, and I, it's just a lot of rehearsal. I, I, I spent a lot of time in, in, in kitchens. I did, um, did a trip to New York uh, before shooting uh, for research, and I just went inside all of the kitchens I could and, and just uh, recorded everything, and I memorized the... the the rhythms, you know, there's there's many like different, very specific rhythms in a kitchen, and so you have to first get it to work as a kitchen, and then get it to work as a kitchen for the camera. So it was, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. So did you actually eat the food? No way. <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to be uneatable. I think exactly. that food. Yeah.